Uh, after today's presentation, uh, Chief, you are perhaps the bravest man I've ever met. Bless you for what you do. Bob Powder, former police chief in West Memphis, Arkansas. My key message was to give uh, those in attendance of the conference um, information about sovereign citizens or free men of the land as they're known in Canada. Uh, indicators of what to look for, how to identify them, uh, and then how to stay safe when they have some confrontation with them. Uh, the, the problem that we're having is the um, information is not flowing as it should. Information is not getting out. Uh, and uh, I'm on a, I am passionate about it, and I'm on a mission now to educate and train as many law enforcement officers as I can about the dangers of this group that's forming now in Canada that's been formed in uh, the United States for quite some time. And of course, uh, that uh, two of those individuals involved in that movement was responsible for killing uh, my son and his partner, Bill Evans, on May the 20th, 2010. And I think one reason that they were killed was they didn't have the information that we now have available to us. Uh, it was there, except uh, it was uh, well hidden. Um, but very few in law enforcement in the United States had heard of the sovereigns. I find, though, in Canada that uh, Canadians are on a very proactive approach uh, using the West Memphis shooting as a learning tool. Uh, and now they're very proactive about training their law enforcement about this dangerous group and how to stay safe. And I'm just, uh, I'm very honored to be a part of that. You can email me at uh, powdert, P-A-U-D-E-R-T, at att.net, uh, and I can give you what I have, or I can put you in touch with Southern Poverty Law Center in Montgomery, Alabama, that uh, has a copy of the video that I showed today, uh, and I can put you in touch with others that have information about the sovereign movement. But uh, there's a lot of information out there, uh, but it just needs to be shared with law enforcement. It's an honor to be here in Toronto. I hope I get a chance to come back. Thank you for having me.